uh, thank you for that and hold on to that thought, Ms. Devanti. We're also joined by Ms. Uh, Nissa, who's a researcher joining us from uh, Jakarta. Ms. Uh, Nissa, tell us, we're trying to make sense out of the situation here. Uh, and we've been uh, told by our other guests that there were enough preparations made, enough training done, uh, enough uh, measures taken to ensure that the workers throughout the voting process would be taken care of and still this happened. What can you tell us more about this? Yeah, actually, this is this is the the very election uh, in Indonesia. The very first time we have a concurrent election, we have uh, with uh, more than uh, uh, almost two uh, two hundred million voters. Uh, we have more than eight hundred thousand polling stations. And uh, you mentioned about trainings, and uh, I think uh, the polling station officers doesn't have, uh, didn't have enough training about the the, the counting process. Uh, the there there are seven members. Uh, each polling station have seven members uh, officers, but only one uh, have training, and the others uh, is not. Yeah. And the, and they have um, uh, the load is uh, the overs. They are they are the, their job is not only on the election day. But the day before the election, they have to prepare the polling station, and then uh, on the election day, they they start at 7 a.m. and 7 a.m. for the counting process until 1 p.m. and then they take a break for a while, and then they continue to the counting process. And the counting process take very long time because we have so, uh, we have five ballot uh, papers, uh, and uh, uh, we have 16 political parties, hmm. and each political parties have uh, at least 10 candidates so our our ballot papers is very big and every everything has to be counted right and uh, for example in my polling station uh, it is uh, the counting process uh, finished at uh, 2 uh, a.m. at the 18th of April so it takes an, uh, almost uh, in the midnight yeah so they yeah Ms. and Ms. after Karen, the counting all... process yeah. Also, yes. please uh, tell us what pressure was placed on these uh, workers. Of course, during any uh, democratic process such as the elections, there is a lot of pressure to maintain the integrity of the entire process. But given uh, Indonesia's uh, political climate, social climate, tell us if there were any additional stresses on these workers. Yeah, they 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 have to 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 do their job right because in the polling station every everyone can see the process. It is open to public, so the political parties uh, send their uh, send their witness on the polling station. Uh, observers also can see the process in the polling station, so they have to do it uh, right. And uh, they don't have any. Yeah, they, they all, the, the polling station officers only have a little time uh, to take a break because uh, the counting process uh, should uh, finish at least uh, on 18 uh, April 2019, uh, at least at 12 uh, a.m. So they yeah. they don't actually they don't have uh, much time, but they have to they have to work fast and right. They have to work fast and right. So it is. Uh, so their job is not only on the election day because after the counting process, they they have to distribute all the logistical to the this to the sub district. So it it also takes time. Yeah. Uh, they have uh, they have to because we we still do it uh, manually. We write on the papers and so many so many copies have to be written. We have six, sixteen political parties. One uh, one form is uh, consists of eighteen pages. So you can yeah eighteen uh, eighteen. Uh, times uh, 16 yeah. political parties they have to write it manually and, right. uh, and we have so many uh, also so many candidates and also the miss uh